Well, let's peer a bit deeper now into that incredible image sent back to Earth by NASA's James Webb Telescope. Joining us to help us look into it is Mark McCochran. He's a senior advisor for science and exploration at the European Space Agency. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the program. We just heard in the package before uh, that the U.S. president described this as a new window into the history of the universe. Have you been disappointed by this image or what were you expecting? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, I, I, I must admit, I had seen the image last week, and we're preparing to release more images here today from uh, the European Space Agency, of course, part of the mission with the Canadian Space Agency and NASA. So that first image, which went out last night, in, in a sense, represents the, one of the ultimate goals of James Webb Space Telescope, which is to look back to the beginning of a, the, the origins of galaxies and stars in our universe 13.8 billion years ago. So by no means was it a disappointment. In fact, it's it's doing exactly what we hoped it would, the, the, the mission we dreamed of more than 30 years ago, uh, and I've been involved for 24 years. Um, this is exactly what we were aiming for. And yeah, it's su surprisingly good, if you like, for just one of the very first images in a mission that could last 20 years. You know, you've just given us a very detailed description of you know, what we're expecting. You know, visually, what can we be expecting to see? Perhaps you've already seen some of these images because you had a preview of this <laughs> image already a week ago. Yes, well, of course, uh, you know, I'm being on the inside of the project, I've seen all of the pictures we'll be presenting today. We've been doing lots of rehearsals and so on. So uh, they won't come as a surprise to me, but hopefully they'll come as a great surprise to many in the, in the public who will be looking at them. We're going to be showing images not only from the very distant universe, but we're looking at galaxies more nearby and how they interact, how galaxies collide and spew stars out through space, through gravity. We're going to be presenting some results from exoplanets. So places, planets around other stars um, outside of our solar system. And this is another big goal of James Webb Space Telescope. Can we measure the atmospheres of those planets? And can we see if they're potentially habitable? So we've got a really interesting array of science results later on today. But again, these are, this is just the, the pictures, if you like, on the floodgates, painted on the floodgates. Now the floodgates are about to open. And every day that goes by, we get more and more data. Um, so by Christmas time, we'll have 30 times more data than we're showing you today. So uh, it's a remarkable period, a, a transformative mission uh, just about to unleash its power.